what's good my g's it's your boy snow ignorant gamers in the house how you doing how you living how you gaming of course if you don't already know g stands for gamers if you're new here welcome to the channel for the first time you should subscribe join these subscribers here who we call team igz igz gaming in the house you already know so let me get into this video real quick talking about the wildlands beta sorry ghost recon wild Wildland, wildlands beta that I played over the weekend and me and Rizzo was actually able to chop it up. Sorry I wasn't able to send out those invites to the people who was on the PlayStation 4 because by the time I got home to actually send those invites out there was something wrong with the system and I tried the entire weekend to send that out. Also I want to give a shout out to my homie um, Hi. Uh, I actually I don't want to say his screen name so I'm gonna just call him Magic. Shout out to my homie Hemp Magic because he sent me an invite to the Xbox One version and it never gave me the code to play. So you know thanks again homie I really appreciate that thanks for looking out and um you know that is what it is. So what did I play? Well I guess your big question is did I like the game? As a whole yeah i like the game where do i go away from the game at is kind of convoluted and a little bit difficult so i'm gonna try to give you everything from a objective view first before i started get into my real 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 strict personal preferences and personal feelings about the game and where the franchise is heading everything is open world and ubisoft is coming at a lot of people's throats by basically becoming the open world king they may actually be the king and they decided to take a franchise like ghost recon into this world now me and Rizzo's going back and forth we both would have loved ghost recon to be in a division like setting aka in a city and this also reminds me of like need for speed rivals when they took the game out of the city like you start to feel some kind of way like it's the game but you just feel weird about it and I think Wildlands beautifully with their art style did what they did and it looks good like I, I think that works I mean I even seen it going from day to night and the thundering and you know the little light haze or whatever like there was different variants of weather that they displayed everything except snow obviously but you know it looked very well the transitions were well the greenery was green <laughs> the greenery the greenery was green on some uncharted level type shit although me and Rizza believe the game should have been closer to the color palette of actually Graw but uh, if you had to pick between them and Tomb Raider we think it should have been Tomb Raider color scheme but it still works the art style still works I do believe that the map for what was available to play was nice and spaced out. I never really felt like I was traveling too long to the other side. Even when we were just doing dumb shit in cars. I think the helicopter is going to... Looks like it was really available everywhere we were. Well, almost everywhere that we were. And that's going to help. I also think they need to tweak those helicopter controls. And that's not just me. You can look at anybody's footage. Everybody's having the same helicopter control problem. And that's besides the point. I think the guns sound amazing. I think the guns felt amazing. Don't listen to Ramon when he says anything about the red dot. He has a red dot. Um, he has red dot therapy. And, you know, for all of that, you know, all that worked very well. Uh, there was some wacky shit that me and Ramon both agreed. It just seems odd, but I'm going to get into that in, in a little bit. Uh, I think the cartel or Bolivia or narcos type characters that we were facing in between you know they seemed a little bit suspect so I would say crank up the crank it up a little bit but I also would warn you because you come across these purple dudes who are like the unilads or whatever and them motherfuckers are fucking you up me and my homie black silk was playing and yeah he was a little he was a little tired but there was no excuse for the way that they was embodying us like that so on that note for if you're not invested into the world of ghost recon but you're invested into third person shooters or open world shooters this game is going to hit home for you and it's probably going to be a generic game that is a lot better with friends or with people the matchmaking was fine by the way now here's where ghost recon invested players 
whether they jumped in on Future Soldier or Graw or the original or they followed the whole way through and this in a way kind of makes me parallel this with SOCOM 4 and I've said this before and I didn't pull a whole video out because I didn't want to you know add salt to the wound but Ghost Recon is going to be a successful Ghost Recon Wildlands is going to be the successful version of SOCOM 4 I said time and time and time again SOCOM 4 would have been a lot better had they not named it SOCOM I still feel the same way about this game both of these games are using the franchise name to sell and to push whatever they need to push the fact that this game is straight multiplayer straight co-op is amazing is great because we've been wanting something that we can play all the way through Ghost Recon Future Soldier gave us that but it also put it in an environment that we expect these type of characters now I enjoyed using a random button to have my created character and, and and I rolled out with whatever it came out with and I'm sure a lot of people will too but it comes down to does it feel like a Ghost Recon game and you're gonna hear different things from different people and for me absolutely not this is more like a four person uh, SOCOM game mixed with a little bit of Hitman and if you're a Splinter Cell fan I guarantee you, your next Splinter Cell game is going to feel more like Hitman with some better controls and that's what this did. Now if you play Future Soldier, if you ever heard me speak about Future Soldier, I've always said Future Soldier in the Grove series has some of the best controls I've ever used for a third person shooter because it fits the world that it's in. Metal Gear was, Metal Gear was phenomenal for the world that it's in. and. I can't say the same about this. This is this is a notch under that. The cover the cover system that they have that's automatically implemented does work even when you snap around corners. It does work. It's cool, but from that's cover to cover on the same corner. From one item to the next, quick run that you can do in Future Soldier, that thing was amazing. That thing is absent and that's also what helps not contribute to it feeling like a Ghost Recon type game as I know it. Other people may feel different. Other people may say, well, I don't feel like Raw because it doesn't roll. You can't roll. You can't run and slide and etc. 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 Which is also missing from the game. And I feel that too. Some of the other things that make it feel a little bit different. This is like a Far Cry. Third person Far Cry. And they added the skill tree, the skill tree crap in there. Which kind of takes away from a little something something like something so simple as sinking shots we are an elite group of four motherfuckers that's put in here to potentially have some work from some locals from some local rebels that we're marking shit for and you mean to tell me that i have to fucking earn uh sp points or whatever the fuck it is to get more sink shots with my with, with my other three fucking trained killers that's unacceptable to me you know, I almost threw a fit out the gate when my drone battery and l limit was super small. And then I was like, oh, this must be the skill tree garbage. So I was very annoyed with that. And that's the and, and that's the way that they were able to adopt the Far Cry shit in there as well. And the other part of it was, and I know I'm skipping around, you know, what takes us out of that mode was me and Uncle Rizzo was doing some fucking off-road Baja shit from fucking Sega Saturn and or PlayStation 1, however you, PSX, wherever you want to look at it. Like, we was jumping cliffs and shit in the cars and the cars take incredible damage out the gate, but then they took incredible damage period before anything happened. And, you know, that felt some kind of way. Now, let me get back to the positive side. I wish we could do more interrogation, but... We discovered a few things along the way. There was a mission where we could interrogate and I love the fact that there were three options. I think one was to get the next location of a supply raid. The other one was um, some special intel. And then I think that another one was something about, um, you know, I guess some, some kind of local thing. There was three and then you would select one and you can go do that. And I think that was pretty cool. Uh, we accidentally got a dude to come out, out of his car. Uh, who was on the bad guys he was rolling in something nice so we had the grand theft auto him you know what i mean like you know let him know riverside motherfucker and basically we made him snitch 
and you know we kept it moving like that so it's nice to see that we didn't because it was a few times we found some lieutenants or whatever and they we grabbed them up and they didn't say much and you know I was a little disappointed of who you could and who you couldn't and I really wish that I could fucking stab a motherfucker when I sneak up on I'm getting tired of all this takedown shit like I really would just want to stab a motherfucker real quick bye bye on some real like Riverside like you, you get what I'm saying like y you get what I mean but all in all because the video is already 10:30, I'm running my fucking mouth, right? All, all in all, I would say, for me, I'm watching this with a heavy reserve. I am open world fatigued out. I'm tired of all this open world shit. I'm tired of it in games where it don't belong, and this is in a game where it don't belong. But that's for me. Can I see you or the general public this being at least attractive to the general public? Absolutely. I think there's going to be some amazing times to be had with friends. As a solo experience, this is going to be bland. I'm sure the story picks up a lot later, but let's not have another Watch Dogs 1 situation where most people didn't get past two thirds of the game. And I'm one person who started and finished the game. And that game, in the last third of that game, makes up for the first two thirds. Hopefully the open world experience with co-ops with your friends will help mask all of that. I also felt unrewarded when you on the map and you see these little spots. Some of them, sometimes they're purple, but for the most part, they're like this orange spots. In the division, when you do that, you get stuff. You know what I mean? When you do that in other games, you get stuff. I didn't really feel too much rewarded in this particular game when I stopped to go stop these dudes from whatever the hell that they were doing it was pointless i felt like i was wasting ammo doing that shit and as far as the shooting goes shoot is fine the characters feel heavy like a recon they just don't exactly move like recon mechanics and the cars the cars do what they do they feel like crap but the cars get better you get better cars they handle a little better same thing with the flights uh they're gonna have to add some type of shooting reticle or something for the for the chopper with the gun on it I had that for a little bit and um yeah that got funny so I mean I don't know like for me I'm I'm 50 50 I thought for honor was amazing uh, an amazing surprise so I was like oh well let me lighten up because I've been pretty hard on this game this recon wild game since it's been announced and I still don't feel the impulse or the the energy to give to it for myself um, to be super excited about it a as a recon fan uh, I don't really see how the hardcore recon fans if they've not flipped already because most recon flam fans have flipped if the recon fans are waiting for their next recon game this probably isn't it for them if you are a third person shooter and you enjoy third person shooters no matter what this game is going to work for you if you can throw out hey this is ghost recon and ghost recon is supposed to be like this that's the only way i can see the game working for you if you can accept this shout out to you but for me it was very hard which is part of the reason why i waited a few days to even do this particular video i wanted to calm down on it and try to minimize my fear of this game happening the same the same fate of this franchise happening what happened to my beloved socom and on that note i'm going to drop the video there if you've enjoyed the video please let me know some type of way you can like you can comment you can tweet do something or subscribe if you're new here tell a friend to tell a friend that it's tim again your boy snow ignorant gamers and i'm out peace